हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ आर रोही एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो गाइज फोर डेज अगो गूगल रिलीज देयर न्यू मॉडल नेम्ड मिनरवा विच कैन हैंडल कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ मैथ्स एंड फिजिक्स इट इज बेस्ड ऑन देयर एन अदर लैंग्वेज मॉडल नेम्ड पाथवेज लैंग्वेज मॉडल विच इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज पाम एंड पाम केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इन अप्रिल ट्वेंटी पाम मॉडल कैन परफॉर्म वेरियस नेचुरल नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग टास्क लाइक जनरेटिंग कोड फ्रॉम टेक्स्ट एंड देन आंसरिंग मैथ वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स एक्सप्लेनिंग जोक्स एंड कॉमन सेंस रीजनिंग ट्रांसलेशन दिस काइंड ऑफ टास्क राइट बट क्वान्टिटेटिव रीजनिंग इज वन एरिया इन विच लैंग्वेज मॉडल स्टिल फॉल शॉर्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन लेवल परफॉर्मेंस सो because this solving mathematical problems and solving this scientific questions requires a combination of skills right so for example if you want to solve a mathematical question or scientific question then uh, you need to understand the question first right then we think of a relevant formulas which are required in that problem and then we generate step by step solution to solve that problem right so these kind of combination of skills are required when we want to work on quantity state of reasoning minerva which is built on palm is capable of solving mathematical and the scientific questions using step by step reasoning let me show you few problems which uh, minerva uh, solved okay so just see this first image so this image shows a multi step problem and here model write down a line equation and then simplifies it substitutes a variable and then solve the value for y okay now let's see another example this math question is from joint entrance examination taken each year by almost 2 million indian high school students plan to study engineering and similar fields so you can see how minerva solved it right so now the question is how minerva model is able to do such complex mathematical and scientific tasks so well for that author have trained their palm model they have further you know trained their palm model on additional 118 gb data set of scientific papers from archive preprint server and web pages that contain mathematical expressions okay so they collected data from scientific papers and then they did text cleaning on it very carefully because when we use standard text cleaning what we does in standard text cleaning we remove all the symbols and formatting like that right but right now we are talking about solving mathematical equations and we are talking about solving uh, scientific problems and there those symbols plays very important role so that's why uh, okay let me show you this with example just see this example by standard text cleaning this einstein equation looks like this okay and text cleaning and then we done uh, and then um, text cleaning which is done for minerva data set there the einstein formula looks like this so this carefully data processing preserves mathematical information which allows model to learn the mathematics at higher level and after getting trained on this you know minerva model after we uh, after the author researchers trained on trained that model on this technical and mathematical papers model gave 50.3% accuracy on maths right which was previously 6.9 from 6.9% model accuracy uh, raised to 50.3 okay and guys do you know that the professional forecasters predicted that these results for 2025 means as per the professional forecasters by 2025 ai would be able to achieve 50% accuracy on maths and you can see that right now we are in 2022 only and we are 3 years ahead google solved that uh, achieved that accuracy 50% accuracy on maths has 3 year they are 3 year ahead they solved that uh, prior to that so this is amazing right so that is because the data set they have used to train their model that data set archive papers they are full of you know uh, uh, good technical content is there so much research work is there so on the basis of that and they have used 
few techniques and using those techniques they reached this result now let's see how minerva model actually developed like what are the steps they have performed like what all um, different functions they have used okay so the first thing is they have used the palm language model as a base okay and then they did fine tuning on a target domain which is technical content in this case right so 180 gb uh, 118 gb data set of scientific papers from archive preprints uh, preprint servers and web pages that contain mathematical expressions they fine tuned their palm model with this data okay and after that they have used chain of thought prompting which chain of thought prompting concept was in palm model also so they have used that chain of thought prompting over here also in minerva model so what is chain of thought prompting that simply means several questions with their step by step solutions are prompted with the minerva uh before asking a new question to a model okay so this is what chain of uh, thought prompting is and then they are using majority voting so like uh, most of the language models this minerva assign probability to different possible outputs so when answering a question rather than taking a single solution multiple solutions are solutions are generated by the model okay so the steps to solve that problem are different in each solution but the final answer is mostly same okay now minerva use majority voting on these solutions and then take the most common result as the conclusive final answer so this is how this minerva works so uh, that's it guys uh, i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching